for which of the more powerful to take on the same formula, or will it try something different? Nintendo employees are emotionally damaged too. They are. If anything, I'll support if Nintendo does anything different, or they go back to the Wii formula. Not the Wii U branch, but just like a better Wii U. Or a better Wii. In the first sign, the first sign Nintendo Switch is entering its life, Twitch has announced it will soon be ending support for its streaming app on Switch. The app will be unavailable for new users to download. You could, you could, watch, you could watch Twitch on the Switch? A Switch Twitch? I didn't know that. Well, the withdrawal of single app developer hardly sounds like a death knell for the Switch console. Eh, no considers the Switch to be worth supporting. Because a Switch Two is. I didn't know that. I've I've only ever, ever watched Twitch either on PC or on a phone. Yeah, they're stopping the support for it. Will Nintendo's next gen console be called Switch Two? The thing about these articles is they don't have any legal protection from Nintendo or Japanese law, so they can actually say anything. I don't have the issue. I literally work with Nintendo devs occasionally. Texture work has its perks. Well, that's nice. I mean, I've, I'd rather just give me just whatever they can, whatever info they have. Will Nintendo's next-gen console be called the Switch 2? Regarding its name, the answer is that we don't know. It's worth noting that Nintendo has never before named its consoles in numerical sequence. Even when they were direct follow-ups to previous generations, as in Super Nintendo Entertainment, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 3 ds Actually, I like that Nintendo doesn't do that. They don't follow numerical sequence for game for console names. PlayStation obviously does that. Xbox doesn't do that. And what's worse, their naming scheme doesn't even make sense. They don't do numerical, alphanumeric. It just doesn't make sense. And Nintendo does its own thing. They have their own just naming stuff. The Super Switch has a certain ring to it, but if you ask us for now, Switch 2 is a serviceable shorthand, all right? Will Switch 2 be a hybrid handheld console? The answer here appears to be yes. Recent reporting by VGC citing multiple sources after dev kits arrived at Partner Studio said the console will be able to be used in portable mode. Okay. No word yet either on the console will feature detachable Joy-Cons. Get rid of Joy-Cons. Joy-Cons blow ass. They blow ass, and not in the good way. Or whether we'll have a handheld only variant like the Switch Lite. But early signs, motherfucker, these paragraphs. Is this running? We'll have I going to get slushy. I'm reading the article about it. It will most likely have the information you're typing paragraphs about, man. But thank you. There's up to the CPU calls. Architecture is going to be different per the nature of the hardware upgrades. My friend, for example. I had to completely rewrite 8% of his company's code for the basics up. It was kind of shit for him. I mean, 80, yeah, writing 80% of anything kind of sucks. Switch 2 release date. Nintendo has indicated that when the Switch 2 will be released. We have a few clues. We usually sources the console is planned for debut the second half of 2024. So sometime between sort of July and December. This fits with what we know. Declining Switch sales at stage Nintendo is in development of the new console. And the release schedule for the Switch games, Nintendo has also Modern Vintage Gamer has as well as well anything he says is verifiable. He worked with the company I was working with before moving on to new Oh yeah, I know that. Yeah, that, the YouTuber Modern Vintage Gaming. I like his channel. Also bad in my bed, I'm just excited because I'm Nintendo pilled. Lol. I know you are. I used to be Nintendo pilled as well, but then I grew up. <laughs> but nice. Yeah, I like his channel. I've seen some of his videos. This fits uh, declining sales. It's ruled out releasing new console before March 2024. And now has Switch games scheduled. Luigi's Mansion is 2 HD. Okay. In October 2023 interview, Nintendo president reiterated that the company would remain focused on Switch until the end of Nintendo's current fiscal year. And that it would continue to support Switch with new titles for this year. The shift from focus to support for the Switch implies that the new console will launch in Nintendo's next fiscal year, so between. I haven't played the Switch since I started devving for its devving for it. This is such ass console. It is kind of an ass console, that's why I never bought it. 
All signs point to hardware release fall 2024. Open a stock upon enough consoles to avoid shortages during the holiday shopping season. That's kind of smart. Would Switch 2 be backwards compatible? This is a big question with many users hoping on outright expecting to carry forward their next game library into the console. Three ad breaks, really? I gotta okay. This need, I gotta have less ads playing. This this is annoying. Like Christ. I gotta fix that. That's that's annoying. Uh, so next question has been the norm with the last generation of Xbox and PlayStation consoles. The answer remains unknown. It's not easy to predict. Okay, well, the obvious answer is that it has to be backwards. There's too, there's too many people wanting, who have Switch games, they want it backwards compatible. The fact that uh, Xbox and PlayStation have it as the norm means Nintendo needs it as the norm. This whole Nintendo, like, exclusivity, bashing on emulators and all shit, they gotta stop doing that. They need backwards compatible. Report says that the backwards compatibility of the machine remains unclear. I've returned. What's up? I'm on the backwards compatible section. Some third party publishers were said to be worried about the potential impact on the sales of next gen titles if the machine is backwards compatible. For its part, Nintendo has, in a rare on record comment, said it will hope to bring Switch users over to the new platform with their accounts. But I miss backwards compatibility. I'm hoping that it is backwards compatible because that should be the standard with consoles. If the Nintendo account system persists, they would, in theory, make it easy for new users to access previous purchases. Nice. Nintendo has a decent, if not flawless, record for supporting backwards compatibility. We played GameCube games, Wii U played Wii games, Game Boy Advance. Yeah, they're great with it in the past, but they seem to be iffy with it nowadays. Game Boy Advance played Game Boy games, 2DS played DS games. But the Switch with the new game cartridge format enforced a clean break from the past. Nintendo has made a mint from re-releasing Wii U games in the machine, particularly 55 million selling Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yeah. On balance, as long as the machine uses the same format for physical releases, Nintendo Recover suggests we make the Switch 2 backwards compatible. However, there remain technical hurdles in implementing backwards compatibility. And much will depend on the chip architecture Nintendo has chosen for the Switch 2. As hopefully they make it so because it just sucks having to get a whole new library of shit. And if anything, it'll just push people to get emulators more. They'll just realize, okay, why buy all this shit? They offer devs, they make games backwards compatible. The majority of current developer devs have been working on compatibility. Night Dive Studios is a company my friend works for, and everything they have on the Switch has been updated right now. Wish I could share what they're working on right now, though. That would be nice, but I'm okay with not knowing. I'm not, it's not like I'm a super active, hyper Nintendo fan. I don't need to know everything. I'm barely a Nintendo fan right now. <laughs> I'm okay not knowing. Will Switch 2 be digital only, or will games be sold on cartridge? I mean, everything is being sold digital nowadays. The fact that they're still making physical copies of games is amazing. NDA, besides the hype that company pulls, is real. Yeah, and it, yeah, they, they have their own hype. It's all right. Of all console manufacturing, Nintendo ties to the retail industry is perhaps the strongest, stronger even than Sony's. So Nintendo is unlike is extremely unlikely to go digital only for the Switch 2, even if this would seem to make sense for a portable machine. Report included the detail the new console will have a cartridge slot for physical releases. This is a close to a dead cert as we can get to the Switch 2. This also happens to support the machine having same or similar form factor as a Switch, as well as increasing likelihood of backwards compatibility. Alright. How powerful will the Switch 2 be? We'll be able to play new AAA games. Thanks to Microsoft's legal wrangles over its acquisition of Activision Blizzard, it reports that demos given by Nintendo against Gamescom will Begins to get a sense of how capable the Switch hardware will be. Which is a case revealed that Activision executives met with Nintendo in December to discuss the console. It came away with the impression that performance will be close to Gen 8 platforms. I can't verify whether the cards taste good still, but likely. As long as the cards taste like, like 
metallic chocolate poison, I'll be happy. In other words, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. Okay. If anything, the Gen 8 com comparison sounds like, though it might undersell the Switch 2's capabilities. Behind closed doors demos, Nintendo shout showed hardware targeting the specs of the console running the Matrix Awakens Unreal Engine 5 tech demo with ray tracing enabled and visuals comparable to Sony and Microsoft's current gen consoles. This doesn't mean that the Switch 2 will be as powerful as PlayStation 5. Is that Nintendo is likely using clever techniques to reduce the demand on less powerful graphic processors. VGC reported that the demo when using NVIDIA processing or NVIDIA, NVIDIA's advanced DLSS upscaling technology. I have no idea about computer hardware and graphic fidelity and all that shit. Because, you know, I play N64 games. I couldn't, I don't know and couldn't care less. Resolution image made it easier for developers to optimize performance and visuals on weaker hardware by lowering the internal resolution settings. Still, the mention of Unreal Engine 5, which is establishing itself as an industry standard engine targeting current console hardware, along with DLSS and ray tracing, so Nintendo is keen on getting closer to PS5, Xbox in terms of performance. And perhaps make it more feasible for developers to port their home console releases on the Switch 2. A special improved version of Breath of the Wild was shown running on a higher resolution and frame rate than it does on the Switch. By the way, the project name is Bistro, internally listed as BSR. Oh, Bistro, like a, like a restaurant, like a, like a venue. Interesting. What games will be available for Switch 2? Speaking of the enhanced Breath of the Wild demo sources, we're keen to point out that there are no suggestions on the enhanced version of the full games will be on commercial products. The four most candidate for the Switch 2 launch will probably be Metroid Prime 4. I'm actually I'm actually excited for Metroid Prime 4. Like how the Wii U was B. Oh, okay. Oop. Yeah, I'm excited for a new Metroid Prime title. Of all previously announced in-house Nintendo games, this is the only one without a suggestion for release date. Nintendo is very quiet about it of, it of late. Given that a release before the second half of 2024 seems unlikely, perhaps Nintendo will make it a cross-gen release for the Switch and a successor. But it did with Breath of the Wild for the Wii U and Switch and Twilight Princess for GameCube and Wii. I think I, play I, think I played Twilight Princess on Wii. And... Nah. Twilight Princess is better on GameCube, I would say. Yeah, Metro Prime 4, I'm I'm pulling for it to be good. Oh, Wii was Cafe? Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, but Twilight Princess, I would say, in my experience, better on GameCube. Because those motion controls, they get annoying. So annoying. Oh, the Wii U. Dude, are you okay, Slush Puppy? You gotta stop with the VR chat sh uh, gameplay. It's screwing up your brain. Or the of, uh, there are two glaring gaps in Nintendo's lineup, the new Mario Kart and the 3D Super Mario game. I'm hungry. Well, go, go get some food, man. There hasn't been a new Mario Kart in over nine years. Nine years? Why does it feel like... Why does it feel like the, like the latest Mario Kart game was made like three years ago? You still stuck on the Fortnite tier list? The, the newest Mario Kart game, wasn't that like three years ago? I, yeah, I don't, I don't know, fucking. The last Mario Kart game I played was Mario Kart Wii, which was the best Mario Kart game. Texture upgrades. Oh yeah, also Nintendo kept doing like course passes for the the, the newest Mario Kart. They, they, they keep releasing like new maps and carts and shit, so it makes it feel like it's a more recent game. Aside from the making add-ons of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Mario Kart Limited team has been quiet since the release of ARMS in 2017. They released Mario Kart 8 four times, yeah. <laughs> Deluxe has sold consistently over the Switch's lifetime. Nintendo hasn't had any incentive to release a sequel. But a new platform would seem to be present for the perfect opportunity for Mario Kart 9. Similarly, so this hasn't... There hasn't been a new 3D Mario game since the 2017 Mario Odyssey. As given that there will be one for Nintendo's next platform, 
The only question is when. Honestly, like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe appeared during the first year of the Switch's life, perhaps we can expect a repeat for that. I mean, it's almost expected. Every single new Nintendo console, there is a Mario, Mario game with it. Especially for the, new, for the newest consoles, there's always a Mario, a 3D Mario game to go along with it. It's, it's expected to be. All right, that's it. Um, I'm hoping this console is good, specifically so that Metro Prime 4 is good. Like, f fuck a console. It could be whatever. Metroid Prime 4, I want that to be good. And I, I would consider, just like before, buying this new console just for Metroid Prime 4.